Hey guys, so if you've been following the Minecraft community at all lately, you've probably heard of the one-to-one -one Minecraft to real world map. Not exactly sure what they're going to call it. Just It's one-to-one -one scale, so like every meter on Google Maps here is one meter in Minecraft. They've been able to import the whole world using several different algorithms and other things. So I'm going to show you guys how to play on it, because it's not just straight vanilla Minecraft download world, it's a little more than that. So here we have Google Maps, we'll come back to this later. You will need this to be able to get around places. But first we have all the different mods. That's the person's video. Pifton FTS, he is the one who really started this whole movement and created the whole entire um I want to call it he made a Discord channel for it. I'll leave a link to that in the description where different builders, different places can communicate and build cities and stuff. But that's pretty cool. Okay, so to start this all off, we're going to need six different things. What, um, here's Forge. So all these links will be in the description down below. This is the one you need to get first. So I recommend getting the recommended one. Make sure you get 1.12.2 over here. Or it'll stay up there. So you click on Windows Installer if you're using Windows. If you're using Linux or Mac, I'm sure there's another place to get it. I don't really know. So when you come to this screen, you're going to want to wait the time up here. Otherwise, there's a good chance of getting an ad in this area down here that will give you viruses. So you click the Skip button in the top right-hand corner and click Save File. So for me, this goes up here. If you're using Chrome, it goes somewhere different. Or if you're using Internet Explorer, it goes somewhere down on the bottom. I click on that. It's in my Downloads folder currently. So I clicked on it. You want to install the client, not the server, because you're just running your own Minecraft world. Click OK. It will extract and install it, and you're done with that. It's that simple. So you can X out of this, and now we can install the rest of these. So here's the Optify one. This makes a lot of things run smoothly. I don't know if it's necessarily needed for this, but it's always good to have. It can't hurt. So what we're doing is so there I clicked on the latest download link for 1.12.2. Again, takes you to the same ad screen. You click on skip and you download the file. Fairly simple. So now we have that one. And here is Terra 1 to 1. This is the main map that actually puts all the blocks in the right places. And for this, you will need internet connection. So if you don't have an internet connection, this will not work. You're going to need an internet, internet connection for this server, or not server, the world because it actually, they update it pretty often. And you have to download it because it's such a massive world, you don't paste the world file in there. It's all pretty cool. So for these, you can just click on the install button, that's for Twitch. Click the download button, and it will download you the map. And you click save. Same thing, but if it does this, it goes to a blank white screen, easy fix. You scroll down here, make sure it's the most recent, recent one for the right version, you just click download. It's Pretty simple. Just go through, download all these. To your downloads folder. As you can see, now I have three of the six or five that we need. And there's number four. And this less encrypt one is not needed, but um, what's his name? Pipton says it's for stability, so. It's probably good if everyone uses the same mods that way when they do come together and put all of their world files together it comes into it it brings in smoothly if not then there's usually troubles and stuff but anyway we have our five mods downloaded now over here my downloads folder so we have these five so what you're going to do is you're going to want to put these into your minecraft folder now so come down here to the search bar and do percent app at uh, and then that percent and I'll bring up this folder you can click on that and you can also use this uh, path right here users your user app data roaming and then you're going to click on dot minecraft go down and find the mods folder if this is not in here you will right click and create a new folder and just call it mods it's I'm not sure if it automatically does this, or if I had to do this at some point. You're going to put that in there. And 
well, I've already shot all these in here. If I, if you just take all of these, just holding Control, click on them all, and then just drag them all into this folder. After you do that, you can then close out of this folder and close out of this one, and then you can go start up Minecraft. You don't need this quite yet. I'll drag that to the side. And Minecraft. So when you start Minecraft, you're going to have to do a couple things to make sure it actually works good. So after you do that, you're going to go to Installations, and you will find that version. This is the version I have installed. Make sure it's that one. Click on that. The three dots. Edit. More Options. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to add more RAM. Originally, this will be set to 2 gigs of RAM. Make sure this is the only one you change. Change it up to an 8 if you have 16 gigs or if you only have 8 gigabytes of RAM in your computer. Like 6 or 4. I mean, probably don't go over 3 quarter of what your RAM in your computer is. You won't need it. And also, it's you want your computer to actually be able to run this. So, at least 4. 4 will be fine. I'll use 4 for this. Click play. And then Minecraft will start. Okay, so after Minecraft starts up, you'll look down here and see that nine mods are loaded, nine mods are active. That's good. So, only thing you need to do to make this load to normal world, so if you go into create a new world, I recommend create it for this unless you really want to walk 10 million blocks to get from China to the USA or whatever. You spawn somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. So, we're going to go to creative, you can name this whatever you want, doesn't matter. World type, this is the part that has to be changed. So you click through it until you find the one that says Planet Earth. That is the one that is the one-to-one -one map of Planet Earth. And you click Create New World. And it takes a minutes to load up because obviously it's a very, very big place. Okay, so when you load up, this is what it'll look like. This is the spawn island. You're over here at zero, zero in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean somewhere. So there are ways to get around other than just flying. You can teleport, but I mean, how do you know where to teleport? Just kind of weird, right? Well, they actually made it really simple. If you go over here into Google Maps, and I want to go to the Grand Canyon, let's just say that. So down here, we'll find the Grand Canyon real quick. Oh, there it is. A big old gorge in the ground. Right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click here and say what is here. Down here there will be some numbers. The numbers are what you need. So actually what you're going to want to do is, let me show you right here real quick. So where it says 36.0, I can't highlight. So you're only need part of these. So chop off the very last number and get rid of the decimal place. That is how you will teleport to that area. So if I want to do that right now, let me select that on my other monitor. And what's here? And we do slash TP at P to select you, or you can type in your username. It really doesn't matter. And then type in the numbers. So mine is 36.07. So I'm going to do 07 to the decimal place. 1, 6, 8. And the last number is 3, but you don't type that in. It will teleport you a different to a different area if you do that. And then we'll go to... Since this is way up in the air, actually, like thousands of meters, we're going to go to uh, 2,500. I'm not really sure what it's at, but we're going to guess that. And the next one is negative 11202410. And you teleport. So it's going to take a sec to load in. Just go change the teleport to the ground. It looks like I am currently free falling. A couple hundred blocks a second. And if you want to speed this up, I mean, you can just, like, tell yourself to go down a little more. And a little more. It turns out that I am in the ocean. No, I'm not. Ha. We are in the Grand Canyon. As you can see, um, well, we're way above 256 block build limit height, and that is what the cubic chunks, is it cubic chunks? One of the mods in this pack does it. It makes it to where you can go very, very high, or I think you can go in the negatives also. But you can go up thousands and probably even millions of blocks into the air. So that allows us to have realistic chunk generation for the world. Or 
realistic worlds in Minecraft. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But as you can see up there in the top right hand corner, we are using anywhere from 50 to 70% of our RAM usage, which is about 3 gigabytes. I would recommend more than 4 gigabytes of RAM dec dedicated to this if you have it. If you can, do 8. When I was doing that, it was maxing out about 5 or 6 gigs, unless you turn your video settings all the way up and look really, really far. It it kind of chugs your computer a little bit. But I also have Mount Everest bookmarked on here, which is what you've seen in the other guy's video. So we're going to TP there, that P, and then I'm just going to copy and paste it because it's easier like that. And by using the same coordinates where you just get rid of the decimal place and chop off the last number in Google Maps, you then get Mount Everest. And you can go anywhere in the world with this, but most, or keep in mind, most water areas are kind of messed up, so islands don't really exist, and coastlines are screwed up. Also, the Great Lakes in Michigan, them aren't really around either. Yeah, so, hope you guys can join the Discord and help him out with his one-to-one -one Minecraft Earth recreating all the cities. That'd be pretty cool. And if you guys liked, leave a like. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. And thanks, I'll see you next time.